Happy Father's Day. Well, this coming Sunday, Happy Father's Day. But we wanted to take this time with the Wednesday Word and just focus on fathers. It's an important thing in life, you know. I, I remember the day I first became a father. It doesn't change your life that day. It changes it forever. Forever, your life is different because it's not something you do. It's who you are. God is our Father. It says to pray, our Father which art in heaven. It says in Romans that we cry, Abba, Father, that He has adopted us. Uh, the whole spirit of family uh, has in its components, a major part of it is fathering. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 127, and it says, verse 4, As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. So that mighty man is the father. The children are the arrows. What does that mean? That means that the power to cause that arrow to go where it's supposed to go, the accuracy and the aim, that's the part the father plays. I encourage those of you who are fathers. The Bible says to not provoke your children to anger, but nurture them and cause them to have the admonition of the Lord. So I encourage you, don't ever uh, speak down to your children. Encourage them. Speak the Word of God into them. Tell them what they can do. Tell them who they are. Build them up because you are launching them as arrows and you are aiming them to targets of accomplishment and vision that hopefully will go well beyond what you have done. Now let me also speak to those that maybe don't have fathers. Maybe their father's absent, has disappeared, maybe is in heaven, whatever. Uh, let me just tell you, one of the greatest generations to ever live was the generation of the Israelites that took the land of Canaan. And the Bible says that all their fathers died in the wilderness, and then Joshua and Caleb led that generation to take the land of Canaan. Isn't it interesting that one of the greatest generations to live and obey God and use their faith as great warriors, the one thing they had in common is they were all fatherless. But no, they really weren't fatherless. Joshua and Caleb were their father. God was their father and is their father. I encourage you today, if you feel the absence of fathering in your life, go to God. Let Him be your father. But also let Him guide you to mentors and pastors and leaders that can put the spirit of fathering into you. And then those of you who have fathers, my goodness, appreciate them. Tell them how much they mean to you and draw on the blessing of the Father. Ask your fathers to speak the blessing over you so that it can accelerate your life because you are the arrow, but they're the ones that are going to launch you with power and accuracy. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. We do all this for you. We want to empower your life. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell us you like it. It's your way of talking to us. Also make a comment. Let us know what subjects you'd like to hear about, things you'd like for us to discuss. And be sure to subscribe. That way you'll be notified for future videos because we want to be a blessing to you.